Welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. Tonight we are in Hollywood at, can you guess it? Probably not because it's not open yet so you probably don't know about this place. The Torture Museum. What an insane place. This place has so many original, well this isn't a, a real body but it does have a lot of original pieces here. The reason for coming here and doing this investigation is to see if any of these medieval pieces are actually still holding the energy from these events that happened to these, these pieces. People, some maybe even innocent people. I have brought some friends with me, so let's go and see what you guys are up to. So we have Victor and Jazz from Barrier Beyond, who everybody knows. Hey guys. If you haven't checked out their channel, I will link it in the description below. Please go ahead and give them a follow. And then we also have a new face as well tonight, and that is my good friend Alicia here. Hi. Alicia is a practicing medium, so she's gonna be here kind of feeling out these pieces in the museum. I really wanna know if there's some energy there, but then we also have our equipment as well um, that will help us back that evidence up. I guess when I'm actually at a normal state, like if, oh, it finally came out, thank you guys. See, that's weird, it's normally, it's a sensor here. So it should have been on this whole time. It should have been on. I literally just started recording. Oh. So you didn't record it turning on? I, tur I, yeah, yeah, I just still, turned on my good. camera. We've been standing here for a while. Yeah, because that sensor, I mean, once I come up here, it would have just yeah, popped up. So I was wondering, huh, something going on here. And it just popped up. See, it just give me chills right there. So. Well, maybe whatever is here knows that we're here now and uh, is going to want to communicate. Hopefully. So if you hear something that says, get out, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on there. You can definitely touch, feel, anything you want here. Can you show us some of the um, original pieces that you have in this room? Yeah, so basically they're on these canvas, which ones, these ones and these ones as well too. So a lot of them that's on these canvases are basically all real authentic. Now, one of these ones is basically, have you ever seen like say Passion of the Christ? This yeah. is basically just one of them right there. That's insane. So imagine that just going onto your back. It's so painful. And just rip it just off just like that. Just one swing of that. Yeah, but then during that time, you get anywhere between 10 to 20 lashes. Now this, imagine your body being right there and it's the blade slowly goes back and forth. Now imagine a pyramid piercing through your back and while they're torturing you. I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I stepped in here, like my heart started racing. How do you feel in here? I sensed something over in that corner when we came this way. Like now, just this doing? little rectangle. I don't know why. What's his name? Uh, David Hasselhoff. What? Mm -hmm. Kind of almost looked like David Hasselhoff. Huh? Looks a little bit like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> yeah, you should call him David. And that's an original piece. That's an original piece. This wow. whole plate is an original piece, but everything else is um, stock. So I can't say where the original piece was from, nor can I say like who was in it or whose DNA is in it. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Are you feeling anything? No, not in here. Definitely over there. Though. In that back room? Oh, yeah. Uh, women's chastity belts and men chastity belts as well, too. Oh, wow. Can anyone guess who the men's chassis oh, belts so are? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but one of them was actually made for punishment to a woman. This one. That is correct. So of course the male penis would actually be in there. And this is what's going to be rammed into a woman's vagina. What the hell? Yeah. And this might be a stupid question, but the person who's in this mm -hmm. is not a punishment for them. Is that like the Punisher? That's yeah, more of the Punisher, yeah. Whoa. This thing is crazy. What is this? Iron Maiden. That's called an Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> CDs right over here? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. So imagine once it's closed, all right, and a the uh, person's body's in there. Next thing you know, this is what they're going to go ahead and do. Stab, twist and pull out. I'm guessing the hole's up here so you can hear the yeah. scream. Wow. Is it wrong that I'm having so much fun in here? And of course it's like the cat claw. Oh. This was done to women. This is what happens like uh, when a woman was just talking crap about somebody 
and then basically disrespecting and this is what she ended up getting. So all of these are authentic pieces too and you can yes. actually touch them and everything. Alicia, why don't you come over here and touch one of these? See if you get a feeling off of this. Or just to warm you up before the actual investigation. Any emotions coming through? I don't really feel anything right now. The overall feeling in here is heavy. It is heavy. It is heavy. Because it's just like... In the modern day and age, you don't want to compute. This kind of like your brain just doesn't compute to this stuff, you know? Now, of course, the extra chair has over over 400, I mean, I'm sorry, 4,000 executions. Wow. Okay. This one right over here was used on four, just over 400 executions. When they first started doing this, yes, he was being electrocuted, but you're actually being more fried than being electrocuted. So they actually stopped that, and then next thing you know, they'll go ahead and shave the inmate's head right over here to the top, put the sweat sponge, and then they started using this one right over here, and then of course that was the more humane way of being electrocuted. Just like an eight mile, not eight mile, green mile. Green mile. Green mile. But, <laughs> but this is the thing though, when they first started doing it that way, they turn it on, then they turn it off to see, okay, they're gonna go ahead and check your pulse, and then if you were still alive, okay, let's go ahead and turn it back on again. That and was how it was. And so completely did. There's only one thing left to do right now, and that is to turn these lights off and turn the eerie music off too. But we're gonna have a lot of fun today, so we hope you have fun too. Let me turn off the lights. Who's gonna turn off? He's gonna turn the lights off, yeah. Oh, okay, so the only light we have are the lights from our cameras and these candles as well. We do have to be super careful here because there is a lot of original pieces, um, but we are allowed to touch the pieces, which is awesome. And if you guys want to come here and do a tour of this place, it will be opening in a couple of weeks. And you too can actually touch the original pieces and, and feel this for yourself. It is a true experience that I think will really get you in the mood, especially leading up to Halloween. It's going to be exciting. Thoughts, feelings? Just with the lights off already and the music off, it feels more eerie now. Yeah. I'm also picking up on that smell again. That right smell's now. been like on and off. It's, yeah, it comes and it goes. What smell are you guys smelling? I don't smell anything. I can't even describe it. Yeah. It's like something I haven't smelled before. Like death, maybe? Maybe. I thought about it. Well, it's like throughout weird. walking around, it just yeah. kind of hits you. Mm -hmm. We're actually one of the few people who have actually seen this museum as it is now, but not only that, we are the first people to ever do a paranormal investigation in this museum. And that is- That's awesome. It's a huge responsibility for yeah. us. And we really need to do this place justice, you know? There could be potential spirits that have just been waiting and waiting to talk. Most of the torture devices in this place have been donated or bought an auction, um, but this is serious, serious stuff dating back to the sixth century? Yeah. That's insane. And this is actually the room that we're going to start our investigation in because as we were doing the walkthrough, both Alicia and Jazz, the second they walked into this room, you guys felt something, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What did you feel? I felt just a dark presence, like a heavy presence, like in the corner, like watching us. Just kind of eyeballing us. us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something that doesn't want us here. Maybe even one of like the actual guards or like torturers are attached to these objects because not only did, you know, the victims or the criminals spend a lot of time, you know, on these torture devices, yeah. but it would have also been the guards, you know? Yeah, because yeah, that was their weapon to, to kill and they felt super powerful with that. Totally. And they're probably still attached to that. No, totally. So does it make sense that there could be kind of like that darker, like kind of bigger Holy presence God. here watching us and, you know, like don't mess with our stuff? Mm -hmm. Big time. So you can feel that kind of dominance, you know, they felt that power chopping someone's head off or taking someone's life, you know? 
All right, well, we're gonna get started in that room that you guys felt something in. Should we set up one there and one over here? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, What's see, going on? I told you. We should set one up where yeah, Alicia said she saw. Corner. Alicia saw a figure over here. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna set up the red pot over here on this side. Oh, this one's going off as you're setting that one up. Just like a couple tiny little beeps. Yes, look. look, yours See? is going off. Are you standing right there? Can you light up one of these devices if you're standing with us? Did you hear that? There's a big bang coming from down the hallway. Whoa! That whoa. is wild. Yeah. Whoa! That the is a heck? high reading. That is a huge reading. I feel like. Oh! Yeah, there was like a couple like little. That oh, was so weird. Spot. What direction are you in? This way? Do you want me to come over here? Do you know what torture device this is? Can you light this up for me if you do? Okay, weird. Are you in front of us? It's pointing over... Oh, it's well, not doing it just... anymore. Did you just walk away? That's good. Thank you very much. Thanks for communicating with us. We know that there's somebody here with us. Did you want us to go into this room? It was lighting it up, like, over here. Yeah. Did you want us to walk into this room? Are you in here? Can you make a noise to which object was the one that you would use? So weird. So I've just walked into that room over there, come back here and nothing. There's no readings. Nothing? Nothing. Is there somebody here with us? Is there somebody watching us? Is there somewhere you want us to go? Oh, oh it's laying up, it's laying up, it's laying up. What was that? Where do you... Did you hear that voice? Mm -hmm. Was that you? Wow. And that was the second that the K2 started lighting up as well. Jasmine's just set the second REM pod up over by, what do you call that? A guillotine? A guillotine. We heard you right now. Can you make your presence known? This device that Jasmine's holding in her hand right here, you can actually go up to the box and you can pull words from it. You can speak to us. That way we can hear you and communicate with you. It sounded like, hello, hello, yeah. That was you, hello. We can hear you. You sound like a male, are you a male? We know that you're trying, so we need you to be very loud and very clear. And you can use our energy, you can use our device's energy. Did you hear that enough? I think it's more there. Yeah, it's all over here. Can you follow us? Is anybody over here? Oh, it smells in here. It smells bad. Oh. Okay, whatever well, was just trying to communicate with us right there, feel free. We're going to go into another area of the museum and we want you to come with us. We're gonna head over to the electric chair, which is a genuine piece, and there has been over 400 executions that took part on that chair. There which... Has to be. Sorry. I don't know, I, could, I thought I heard movement coming from this little room right here. I swear. That was the room that we were literally like, 
getting all the activity in, but at the same time, we were just about to leave this room. Is there somebody in here? Can you go over to that device right there? If you go near it, you can light it up a different color. Can you do that? If you're trying to get our attention in here? It sounded just, it sounded more like a, like a scurry, like a Yeah. Don't. There's someone in there. Someone in that what room. There's, There's someone in there next to you. No, what? that's Jade. Alicia, can you grab this real fast and film what they're seeing right now? He went away. Oh my God. Wait, I was can you to... please stand next to Jade? We just saw you. Can you stand next to her? So that's Jade right yeah, there. Yeah, that's Jade. Where did you go? Are you checking me out? That's Jade still. Yeah, he was standing right next to you. I'm telling you, there's something in this room. Something's attached to something in there. Yeah, there's only one thing in here though. But if it's original and so many people yeah. used it, like... Is that true? Is this over here, is that how you died? Where the EMF detector was going off was right here, and that's the same spot that you that... guys picked up on the skeleton on the SLS. I think that there's something in this room though, and I think that, you know, if there is somebody in this room or something in this room, or if you're attached to something in this room, then feel free, we're going to go to another room. You can, you can follow, follow us. I'm getting weird vibes. Really weird vibes. Okay, so this is the electric chair. Original piece that we can actually sit in. Who's into the honors? Alicia, yeah, sit in it. Tell us if you feel anything. Do you want to hold this? Four hundred people sadly died in this chair. Whether you were sent to death for crimes that you did commit or crimes that you did not commit. Would you mind if we put the thing on you? No, go ahead. The head thing. My body felt like really stiff. <clears throat> oh, holy crap, my heart's beating so fast. I feel like I want to like break down crying right now. Really? I'm like really scared. If you need to stop, just let us know. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn on the SLS camera and see if anything appears. Can you stand next to Alicia? What was your crime? Why were you sent to the electric chair? I felt like this angry, like, I just felt like anger out of nowhere, like when you asked that. Are you angry because you're innocent? That doesn't really make much sense. I think you're angry because you did commit a crime. You don't like being pressed about it. You can't admit that you're wrong. I'm sorry, I just heard a breath. Did you? Yeah. I heard it too. You heard it too? I heard it. I heard it over here. I heard it. Let me stick a round pot over where Victor heard that. Victor and Jazz heard the breath. I felt someone put their hand on my arm. On my right arm. On your right arm? Yeah. There's somebody over by Alicia, touching Alicia. If there's somebody touching her arm, you can go over and touch that device in her hands. Is that what you're trying to do? I felt it on my neck too. That's Ooh. weird the anger came through, like the feeling of anger, you know? Yeah. Are you angry at the people who put you in this chair? Are you angry at the, the sentence that you got? Did you think that it was unfair maybe? What the hell is that? Whoa. There is something. Can you put your arm up? What are we looking at? It looks like they're locked. Like their arms are locked. It does. Like they can't move their arms. Did they handcuff you for the crime that you committed? 
<gasps> Dude, I just heard a voice. There's uh, the hats oh, are okay. still. This is so weird. So it doesn't it's, look it's, like it's pointing. like it's touching you. I can it's, feel it. It's Victor. Oh it's my god. It's pointing at Alicia. Whoa! Look at it. It's like. It's like it's petting. Pointing. It's like touching your head. Whoa. What? Maybe if it's standing to the side of the chair authority. and touching her like and an touching like the head. to see if she's alive? That or maybe the person who actually went through with, you know, putting, I don't even know what you would call this, like on top of her head. It's oh, gone. disappeared. It's gone. The second I walked over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone. It kind of looked like it wanted to go away from you too. Really? As you got close to it, it kind of went like that. Yeah. That was wow. I feel that like, was nuts. I don't know. He's amused because, like, I laughed earlier. I don't know if you I heard saw me, you. Yeah. But that wasn't me laughing. Oh my god. But that wasn't me. It looks like they're locked. We'll get poor Alicia yeah. out of the electric that chair. Was intense. Are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm okay. So for just now, in the meantime, uh, we're gonna head over to another room, but we have got a REM pod here on the electric chair, just in case if we did communicate with something, then maybe it will go back to the electric chair and check it out again. Hopefully it will set the device off. Where to next? We're heading back to that spot. Warm? Warm. That was like what happened on our last investigation, in Jazz. House. Yeah. It was telling us that we were getting warmer. And this is right as we're walking into the room where all the activity began. What? What? Go, go. Go. Go, go, go. Where? Going or? Do you want us to keep going? Is this where you want us to go? It's got a really big unsettling feeling in here. Die? Die? I just heard die. die. I heard die. I don't feel comfortable in this room. Me either. The word die coming through at the torture museum is pretty fitting. Did you die from one of these devices? Can you tell us which one? I felt this, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the hairs on my arm, it's like static. Oh, yeah. It's like straight up static. God, dude, my arm hurts. And it feels like all the blood is rushing to my fingers. Whoa, is this I feel can somebody else please put their hands here because it really does feel super static -y. Whoa, look at my hairs are going up. Right? <laughs> no, my seriously. hairs are up. There's just straight up static in this room. Is there anybody standing right here where we're feeling the static? If you died by one of these objects, all you need to do is light this up for the one that's that's, that's the way, I just felt something literally touch my head and it felt like that static again, but like spider webs. Just like- That's usually like when you get touched. Oh, yeah. that was weird. Oh. Connect. Connect. You just felt like you got touched for now. Oh, I got touched. Are you trying to connect with me? Why are you trying to connect with me? Can you answer that through the device that Jazz is holding in her hands? Can you tell me? Root? Wound. Oh, wound. Wound? Wound. Look at where I was standing, where it said that. What part of the body is wounded? These are authentic, yeah. So these scratchers. Is this how you died? Did you die on one of these torture tables? Scratch. No. Scratch. Dude, what? Look. Wow. Oh my god. Look, look at her back. I'm guessing that this person who we're connecting with right now definitely got scratched and probably just bled out. <gasps> look, look, oh shit, the K2 is going off. Oh, before I ask any more questions, I genuinely just want to see if this is how you died. Ask. Ask. You want me to ask more questions? Thank you. Okay, I appreciate that, but I do also just really, really want to say that I'm sorry if, if this is the way that you went, if, if we're right with this story. Seriously. 
I am so, so sorry that you went through this. I can only imagine Whoa. the REM pod just went off. Thank you. I can only imagine how you felt. <sighs> long time. Long time. Are you trying to tell us that it was a long time ago? Is that the owner? Did a door just close or something like that? Hello? Hello? That sounded heavy too. That was, yeah, there was Like a heavy object or like a, something closed or something or like maybe. It sounded like a door closing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We definitely heard a noise. <laughs> it was the owner using the restroom, so that was awkward. <laughs> but kind of a nice way to just kind of break up that heaviness because, wow, I, I was really, really starting to feel it. Are you still here with us? Any sign just so we can know you're here? Do you feel like there's anybody here, Alicia? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that left? Yeah. Gotcha. I don't feel anything right now. Again, whoever we were just communicating with there, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're more than welcome to, to join us in another room and make some more communication. Again, I am really, really sorry for what happened to you. I'm starting to get that heavy feeling again. It's every single time I think about it, it's just like, it just, it blows my mind that that even happens to people and, and still happens to people, I guess, technically. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the sensory deprivation back in the room that we started off because that is definitely the one that we've had you know just the most eerie vibes there's definitely something in that room and we never really got the answers that we were looking for first time round. once i get under sensory deprivation hopefully we'll get some more answers to who that person was definitely feeling really really weird down here mm -hmm. really weird My camera just turned off by itself. It sounds like there's something in the hall. Yeah. It's a really, really dark area though. I don't know if it maybe like hiding there because it's super dark. Because it's dark, but yeah. That's honestly the only dark area in the whole museum. Well, something didn't want us filming. That's why it turned the camera off by itself. So interesting. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's go to the hall, which is literally ugh, right behind me here. My K2 was on. It was on? I turned it off and I literally just looked down in my pocket just now and I was like, what's that? On. There's my K2. Are you trying to connect through the K2 device? Can you stand next to Jade and show her what those tools are on the wall? Are one of those objects yours? I feel like whoever is here is scared. Maybe there's two spirits here. One is a little bit more timid, a little bit more scared, and the other one is a little bit more kind of dominant, doesn't want the other one to be heard. Is that true? Whoa, look, K2's whoa, off, whoa. look at K2. You see that? Yeah. Thank you. That is true. I'm holding this is still as Dude, this is spiking right up now. crazy. Thank you. So there is two spirits here. One a little bit more quiet. The other one doesn't really want you to talk, huh? The only thing I was picking up on was like um, a man, like an older man. That's who I felt like turned off your camera. Oh. I'm definitely getting the sense that somebody was tortured for a crime that they didn't commit. Now this is just speculation, okay, and this could be a long shot, but maybe the person who did use one of these objects or did torture them actually knew that they didn't commit the crime, but they get paid to do this. They can't say, no, I'm not going to do this. Was it one of these devices? Victor. Oh. Look. Oh. Are you- Someone's sleeping? behind you, Jade. There's somebody. Yeah. A really, really tall figures behind you. Are you the one that won't let the other spirit talk? We're not afraid of you. Can you reach for Jade?
the creepy thing is that it looks like it's looking over you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's looking down at you. Yeah. Now it's looking like its head back went back up. Mm-hmm. He's just like watching you. Why are you watching me? Is it cause I'm questioning you? Whoa, guys, the static on my arm is insane. I'm turning on this device here if you want to talk. What if it's trying to get an object from the it's, wall? Yeah, it's cause it's on like where oh, the objects are. Now it looks yeah. like, look at it, it looks like it's trying to get something from the wall. Seriously? There's devices right here. There's torture devices. It's grabbing right the me. device it's grabbing the, the tools. Are you trying to torture me? Please answer me through the device that I'm holding in my hand. I wanna to talk to you. Oh my god, I'm getting that spider web feeling on my face again. You're getting touched. The entire time, like I've been here, no joke. Take a step forward. Static electricity. Go to like the opposite wall. Did he go? No. Nope, he's still, still there. Who are you? Talk to me. This is full blown static right here. I kind of want somebody else to come down and just experience this. Oh my, I, I felt it right away. Oh, my hair is on my arm. Isn't it insane? Yeah. This guy is still there? Huge. Yeah. Even with me being here? Mm hmm. Flashing. Where is he? Like right here? No, behind you. Right here? Right there. <gasps> Stress. Stress? He's on that wall, yeah. Time to grab me. Can you touch Victor's arm? Am I touching it? Mm-mm. No. It's like it wants Claim. to touch you. Claim? Claim. It Wow. Can you touch me? My arm? Are you trying to claim one of us? Anybody else seen flashing no, lights? No, but there's something like behind me. I can feel it. You can feel behind you? Behind mm -hmm. you. Basket. 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 The head, maybe? That's what I was just thinking right now. That's the... With the guillotine? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that I can think of. There's a head in the basket. Is that where you want us to go? It's a girl. 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 Is that where you want Jade to go? Are you talking to me? Whoa. I just literally felt like I was about to pass out there. You okay? I just totally lost my foot in. Are you trying to push me into one of these? Imagine if I pass out on one of those. Oh. He's gone. He's gone? I still feel really, sorry, I feel really, really, I think I need to sit down. Yeah, sit down. Sorry, hold on. Holy shit. That was crazy. It was a tall-ass figure, he too. He was huge. Oh. Jay, at one point, it looked like he was like this, like over you. And his head, the head part, it was like this. Like, literally looking at down at you. Later on. Later on. Later on. Damage. 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 I feel like there's like a guard in here for sure, mm -hmm. and this was one of his tools. Yeah. He probably took a lot of pride in. Well, this just, did you hear that? It just went silent. Yeah. I really just want to say right now, whilst I have you here, if we do still have you here, that you're not coming back with me and you're not going to do anything later. You have to stay here. This is where you stay. I, I don't want to <laughs> deal with this guy anymore, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Did you see that? Did you catch that? Yeah. What happened when I The second mm -hmm. I sat up, this totally like lit up back to orange. All right, we are wrapping up this investigation. I definitely feel like there is some sort of energy in this place just waiting to be heard. And honestly, I feel like we communicated with a few different spirits tonight. Some nice and some not so nice. I just wanna say thank you guys to the Torture Museum for inviting us to do the very first paranormal investigation here. It was an absolute blast. If you find yourself on this side of town in Hollywood, come join us at the Torture Museum. I swear to you, it will leave you thinking about a lot. <laughs> but that being said, thanks again for watching the episode. Until next time, have a good night, guys. Bye.